guys, Kieran Natsu here, and welcome to episode 23 of my Don Bradman Cricket 14 career mode. Now, as you guys remember, last week we had some absolutely mammoth scores. As you can see here, we've still got the match in progress, because of course last week I stopped halfway through the match. And because I've been recording for about half an hour. The video length was about half an hour, I was just thinking, a bit too long for you guys, so. But as you can see, we're playing Durham, and Durham absolutely smashed it. 550 for 5. We're, doing, we're not doing too badly. We're 312 for 3. I am currently joined at the crease by... Well, Graham Smith, sorry, is being joined at the crease by myself. And with both part, I've passed 50, Graham Smith has passed 150. So we're going to get back into this game now, and hopefully we can turn that 58 not out that we've got into a score just as big, if not bigger than Graham Smith's. Of course, that will mean that I'm going to need to kick on a bit in terms of my run scoring. But we'll see what happens. So, let's get back into this game. And let's... Right? No, I'm not. Okay. Come on, Smithy. Yes, run him up. Beautiful shot. Oh, and it will. Beautiful shot, Smithy. Oh, run. Don't get too used to doing that, though, Smithy, because I will run you out. Yes. Just the one. With us three balls at Rushworth. I think it's, I think it's Chris, Chris Rushworth, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure it's Chris. Chris. Chris Rushworth. What's going on with my voice today? Should get two for that at least. Or should go for four. Yes. Let's ball back in this episode and we've smashed it for four. Well, I wouldn't say smashed it, but guide it well enough. That's going flat. That'll do. Final ball of this over. Unfortunately, I've already got many places to try and get a single. Are they going to stop it? Nope. Too wide a fine leg. That's annoying. But, on the plus side, there's a 100 run partnership between myself and Graham Smith. The note of Graham's. Here comes Graham Onions. Or my England bowler. Yes, run out. Just one smithy because this is my series, not yours, and I want the strike. Right. Ooh, I like this one. Absolutely no one back apart from a deep cover point. Beautiful. Great back over Onion's head. Or over deep mid wicket. A six. I'll take that. I'll happily take that. Uh, if you really want to get me, boys, you want to put that mid wicket back, or at least put that mid on back. Let's go for four. They're going to keep putting the ball there. I'm just going to keep hitting it over his head. Very quickly moved on to 80. Way. Okay. Not sure what happened there. But one second the ball's in the bowler's hands, the next minute for me it's uh, behind me. Oh. 84 off 25, we times that by 4. 8, 16, 32, 328 is our strike rate. Eight, no, no it's not. 336 is our strike rate. And yeah, I'll throw it's about 320, 330 ish, somewhere in that region. If we were to face 100 balls, that's what we'd score. Amy Harrison. Ah, you absolute mongrel. Over mid wicket. Not too keen on doing. Why? I 
seem to miss, I don't know why, I just seem to miss the ball when I'm trying to hit over mid-wicket. I don't know whether it's because I'm hitting too early or what. Oh, that deep fine left of ball. I could try and guide it through that gap there between extra cover and point. Or I could just go straight and give the stride back to Smith. Just because I'm not too keen on the bowler, I'm going to hand the strike back to Graham Smith. He can deal with the rest of the other. Whilst he's doing that, I'm going to have a drink. Yeah, go on. Is uh, talking to yourself into a camera does take a lot of saliva out of your throat. Back of 4294, hey, how are you doing? And guys who are watching this on YouTube, I do record all of my videos on Twitch TV, so head on over to twitch.tv forward slash kerrout92, where you can watch all of my videos as I record them. Of course, for the people watching me on Twitch, videos do go up on my YouTube channel. The link is in my profile, so head on over to my YouTube channel if you're enjoying what you're seeing here. Uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button when you're over there. And we have just reached lunch on day three. Day three? Really? I think this match is definitely going to finish as a draw. I really don't think we're going to get... A result out of this match. Still no one back. Man. Ozzy. Oh. Off we go, ball. And that puts us into the 90s. Yeah, 96. In fact, we were already in the 90s. Now they have put a man back. Point. the single there. Let Smith have the rest of this over. Unless, of course, I can get a chance to get another run. Firstly, unfortunately for me, move that mid off back. back up. Get over the top, Smith, you South African mongrel. Get the ball. Get it over the fields. There we go. I'm going to try and run through here. Run, Smith, you slow poke. Now, <laughs> there was three there. There was, I promise, there was a three there. There was definitely a three there. I was safe. Oh, back. It proves that there was three in there. Unfortunately though, with Graham Smith now being out, I now need to be the one that stays in. Kind of annoying. If you've watched me for long enough, guys, you'll know that my uh, line of play doesn't exactly suit playing a conservative game and keeping yourself in. Normally I would just slog from ball one. Still got that long on him. Oh, ball. Yes. There's our century. 102 of 33 balls. A strike rate of 309. That's not too bad. Look at that. As soon as I get the century, they bring the men back in. Which, again, works perfectly for me because it means I can just do that again. Oh. Fantastic. Next ball, please. Trying to see if we can get as close to their score as we can. As we are. So we've only lost four wickets. Only because I don't want to lose too many more wickets. After Graham Smith, I think we've only got one real 
That's man. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Massive edge behind to Philip Mustard. He's not going to drop that. Stephen Davis is in next. I think that's our last real bowl batsman. Yeah. After Steve Davis is just bowler. So we're out for 110. We came in at 226. So I was able to put 140 on between myself and Graham Smith, which wasn't too bad. Well, 135 with Smith. And then I went and smashed another 15. So we'll simulate through to the rest of our innings. I think we're going to end up being behind. I think that we are behind by about 70 runs. Sucks. Are we being chucked the ball? Hopefully not. On. Right, they've declared to try and see if they can force a result. I think we need about 300 ish. Gonna end as a draw. That's half past five. That is game over. Handshakes all round. It is a draw. So, they finished. Uh, 72 runs ahead of us at the end of the first innings. So add that onto their score for the second innings. 297. We were about 40 runs short. I'd like to think that if I come in, I might have been able to smash those runs, but hey ho, that's what happened. It's a draw. Which is fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to move into the next match, which is a row 40 match, I believe. Who's against? I haven't got a clue. May even be a bye week for us. That's it was a bye week for us. Next game is actually going to be a County Cup game. I don't particularly want to do two four day games in a row in one video. So, what I'm actually going to do. Yes, I am going to wrap this video up here, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. If not, hit this like button in the comment section down below. Tell me why so I'm trying to improve. Comment any games you guys would like to see on this channel. And just in case some of you didn't watch or didn't like watching my... Don't like watching my WWE series. Um, I'll tell you guys now and I'll tell you again tomorrow. Five clues about the game that's coming to this channel on Friday to replace Just Cause. Trying to get a hard copy of Just Cause. I can't get one yet. So, temporarily, there's going to be a new game. So, the five clues that, you, that I gave in the WWE video were... Clue number one, the game is part of a series. Three games of the series have already come out, and a fourth is due to come out this year. It's another role-playing shooter adventure type game like Just Cause 2. It's your second clue. The third clue is it's set in the future... Fourth clue is that you play as a human whose name is associated with sheep. Fifth and final clue is that you fly a ship called the Normandy. Now, if you guys know what the game is, then chuck it down in the comment section down below. Get it right, I will like your comment, subscribe to your channel, and shout out in Friday. So, then, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment games, subscribe if you're new around here, and remember to follow me on twitch.tv forward slash kira 92 for all of my recording live sort of stuff. Like. That sounded really bad. Follow me on Twitch to be able to watch this video before it actually goes out on my channel. That's probably the easier way of saying it. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.